We're only humans, and in our nature, we're fated to misjudge or miscalculate sometimes. But in high-tech science labs, those mistakes can be hugely costly, considering the investments of time, money, and effort. However, sometimes those lab workers' mistakes result in significant rewards for their pockets and glorious scientific breakthroughs and discoveries for mankind. On the list of some of the greatest fluke discoveries and breakthroughs, we have plastic, the microwave oven, strike-able matches, gunpowder, and even penicillin. Now, there might be a brand new accidental discovery that can provide the catalyst for humankind to become planet hoppers or even multi-galaxy travelers. Truth is actually stranger than fiction. And although art imitates reality, stranger things can happen, especially when fictional ideas are materialized in real life. The impossible can become the possible. Here's the prime example of today's presentation. The warp bubble discovery provides the first fundamentals for the hyper-fast warp drive that we've only known in science fiction books and space flicks. In a 1994 paper by Miguel Alcubierre, theories were laid out within the framework of general relativity and without the introduction of wormholes. It showed how it is possible to modify a space-time in a way that allows a spaceship to travel at infinite speeds. By creating a warp bubble, where space compressed in front of the ship is rarefied behind it, warp travel would be possible, but it would require negative mass energy. Then, by a purely local expansion of space-time behind the spaceship and an opposite contraction in front of it, motion faster than the speed of light, as seen by observers outside the disturbed region, is possible. This time and space distortion could create the same effect of a wormhole as exotic matter generates the distortion or the warp bubble. A team of physicists were actually observing the structure of Casimir cavities when they unintentionally stumbled upon the discovery of a real-world warp bubble. It's being considered the third small step towards building a potential warp drive. The first step is Einstein's theory of relativity, and the second being the Casimir effect along with the findings of Miguel Alcubierre. Remember, Einstein's theory of general relativity revolves around how general relativity pulls in gravity. It's the understanding of how gravity affects affects the fabric of space-time. The theory of general relativity, which Einstein published in 1915, expanded the theory of special relativity that was also created by Einstein 10 years prior. Special relativity argued that space and time are inextricably connected, but that theory didn't acknowledge the existence of gravity. Therefore, the studious Einstein spent the decade between the two publications, determining that particularly massive objects warp the fabric of space-time, a distortion that manifests as gravity. And of course, NASA confirmed this. And prior to that study of gravity, of course we can refer back to Sir Isaac Newton, who came up with the formulation of the three laws of motion which is the basic principles of modern physics, which can be studied in the Principia. Newton revealed the force of attraction that two objects exert on one another. The second key to the discovery of the warp drive is the Casimir effect. Physicists explain that the Casimir effect is essentially a force from nothing. It's the attractive force between two surfaces in a vacuum that has real-life applications able to affect everything from unified theories of nature to space-time and even micro-machines. It is a general truth that the amount of energy in a piece of vacuum can be altered by material around it. When scientists refer to a vacuum, don't imagine using a vacuum cleaner in your living room or the object of your prank to tease your loved ones. The term vacuum comes from the Latin vacuus, which means empty. Vacuus, in turn, comes from the word vacare, which means be empty. So, for physicists, a vacuum is a total, perfect, or absolute enclosed area with no matter. Sometimes this type of vacuum is referred to as free space or zero-point energy. For concrete learners, the term Casimir effect is commonly demonstrated with two mirrors facing each other in a super-strong box absent of particles. If the mirrors move rapidly, some of the vacuum waves can become real waves and cause real-life movement. In quantum field theory, the Casimir effect is a physical force acting on the macroscopic boundaries of a confined space, which arises from the quantum fluctuations of the field. It is named after the Dutch physicist Hendrik Casimir, who predicted the effect for electromagnetic systems back in 1948. Then, in 1997, it was confirmed. The new enthusiasm has also been observed by fundamental physicists. Many theorists have predicted the existence of large extra dimensions in 10 and 11-dimensional unified field theories of the fundamental forces. 
these dimensions could potentially modify classical Newtonian gravitation at sub-millimeter distances. Therefore, measuring the Casimir effect could help physicists to test the validity of such radical ideas. These radical ideas were being observed by Dr. Harold G. Sonny White and his team when they stumbled upon the existence of a warp bubble while conducting DARPA-funded research into Casimir cavities and the energy density present in those structures. Dr. White acknowledged the significance of the fluke findings but asserted that it was only a small step forward in regards to actually building a warp drive. The warp bubble enables interstellar travel. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, funded a research project at NASA's Johnson Space Center, and they're the entities that have accidentally discovered warp drive method, which they hope to build into an engine. The scientists published their findings in July of 2021 with Harold Sonny White, working with NASA as a researcher at the Eagle Works Laboratory in Houston, Texas, leading the project and publishing a research paper with his team. The thesis is on the possible structure of the energy density present in a Casimir cavity. According to reports, the Eagle Works team came across a micro-nanoscale structure that predicts negative energy density distribution that closely matches requirements for the Alcubierre metric. So, like the lucky stroke discovery of Viagra, Dr. White and his colleagues accidentally created a microscopic experiment while researching how energy distributes around wavelengths. The experiment resulted in enough theoretical energy to achieve warp speed, which validates the concept theorized by Mexican mathematician and physicist Miguel Alcubierre. In 1994, Alcubierre became famous in the physics community when he published his findings on the theoretical possibilities of warping interstellar space. He proposed that it was actually possible to manipulate the fabric of space itself in order to achieve faster than light travel. Alcubierre's theory shows how it might be possible to contract space in front of a starship while simultaneously expanding the space behind it. As a result, this would reduce the intervening gaps between planets and stars to very short distances. Again, for the concrete learners to grasp the concept with visuals or a metaphor, just imagine a surfer riding a wave. This is akin to how a starship could traverse the universe. However, although Alcubierre's math is solid, there are some unresolved problems. The dilemma is, some of the theoretical energy requirements do not exist, or at least have not yet been discovered. However, the latest DARPA-funded research released by White and his team indicates that the negative energy requirements would be much less than initially believed. If studies and experiments prove this correct, White's team has possibly discovered the world's first warp drive. But if White's team at DARPA and NASA does prove correct, and Alcubierre's warp drive is created and used, the energy emitted off this space fabric warping spacecraft would be enough to rip planets apart. So, of course, scientists are going to run a number of tests in order to understand, manipulate, and master warp drive. That's just decent science. When interviewed by Science and Technology magazine, The Debrief, White was quoted saying, To my knowledge, this is the first paper in the peer-reviewed literature that proposes a reliable nanostructure that is predicted to manifest a real, albeit humble, warp bubble. In the meantime, White and his team have been conducting more experiments into the possibility using small models to better understand the opportunities of a prospective warp bubble. Everyone has their fingers crossed in hopes that the Eagle Works Laboratory can actually take humankind from science fiction to reality. The first scientific realization of a functional warp drive is actually here. This device, if ever built, will enable us Earthlings to travel faster than the speed of light by the deformation of space-time. It will essentially warp the universe around the vessel. In this regard, the path taken would become a time-like freefall. As the starship hums along in a little bubble of space, neither the passengers nor the vessel would encounter inertial effects. Truth surely is stranger than fiction. And you've got this channel, Space Infinity, to keep you updated with the latest advancements us Earthlings have to offer. So be sure to smack that like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video.